So the, the question is this, you and a clone of you, right? So two identical yous, six months training. What weight class do you think you can win a UFC fight in? So it's 2v1. But Oh, one I mean I have to fight at 170. That's 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 that's, that's all I can do. Like that's mm, like No, no, you don't have to make weight in this scenario. You just oh. pick which fighter you like so for example, if it was just only me, every UFC fighter can beat me even if they fight at like one 35 or I don't sure know, like, yeah um but if it's me and a clone of me yeah 2v1 yeah can i um, be tj dillashaw two of me dillashaw no i think that tj dillashaw in particular is like so explosive he'd end one of you right away <laughs> like, like he that's the problem that i'm that, gonna make a bold claim mm -hmm. me and a clone of me i think i can beat every woman in the ufc <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I agree. I agree. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're it's just gonna so run. much uh, I, victory as it is a crime. Up. <laughs> yeah, come her up and close distance and grab her, right? I mean, yeah, of course. I just need okay. my mouth for that. Holy shit, you look fat in those trunks. Oh, God. <laughs> I quit. I quit. <laughs> no, I, I, I think so. I just think it's, you know, two adult men who are – Going in with the intention of attacking a woman, and we're using UFC rules, and she, you know, it's not like she can run away. Or, she's done. We're gonna grab her. A woman for sure. You're gonna take with two adult men sizes and, and four hands, like eight limbs. Like you're gonna four, win. Yeah, four hands. But a man. Fair. Also, we're like, all pretty full size guys. Right? Let's say like, you go yeah. up against like a, a a UFC. Who's like the the ultimate like average UFC fighter? Like what's the like middleweight? Well, like who, who's someone like, from that? Well, see, you don't want that. See, like, like 175 like, like, or something? I'm that's trying a to think. big boy. Okay, 155, whatever. I'm saying that if if I'm with my clone, this is the problem that's going to happen. It's going to be a mental problem because my thought process is I'm going to be, I'm going to push this fucking clone and I'm going to have him take the, the main beating. What? That means, that means, that means, that means, you know, your clone's not down for that. He has that the same means, mindset. That, that means he's gonna that have my clone plan. is going to be one to push me in front of it. Like, and so <laughs> I, I don't think we're going to make a good team. The idea, <laughs> the, the, the problem is that once, once he's done with your clone, he's going to deliver an equal beating to you and you'll be by yourself now. No, once once he's distracted with my clone, I'll bring out the knife. I snuck in. <laughs> in Your my clone ass. might have one too. <laughs> Same idea. Like yeah. Donald Cerrone, right? He was looking for the ultimate average fighter. I'm picking him. He was really good. 150 to one, 155? What is it? We mostly class? fought at 55, but he fought at Yeah, 55 and 70 he fought. And uh, um, he just retired, so he's not peak of career or anything. Yeah. That guy today, I think he beats two Woodies. This guy would beat the shit I, out of three. To of me... Them. All right, look, I, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but to me, what it, what, what, what the, if he can go into it with the mindset that he's got to like knock one of us the fuck out immediately and he does mm -hmm. that, then it's over. And I think he would. I think that any like trained fighter would know yeah. that two on one is hard no matter what. Do you know how bad mm -hmm. my partner's cardio is? Like we're not gonna get <laughs> <Same laughs> <as yours. laughs> like, like, like there's no way we're we're gonna ever be standing up and striking. We're gonna try to grab this guy. We're gonna try to like immediately each go for a single leg. <laughs> it's, a, it's a double single leg. You can't stop the that. The first ever like is. leaping double knee knockout. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're gonna be double dragon attacking uh this guy, but it, it won't matter if he's able to fuck me up bad enough. And it wouldn't take much if he could just punch me hard enough in the face, like me or my clone, we're going to be like doing one of these, like, hang on a minute. And then the other yeah, guys, that's and then it's over. You'd have to yeah. use your weight, the combined weight of both of you to try and tire him out. We just got to get him to the ground and isolate his limbs and then beat him to death. Well, is it a to the death? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I, I brought a clone. We're not, we don't give a oh. shit. <laughs> I, I would just know. start making out with my clone to confuse them. <laughs> that yeah. just gross that, them out. No, we yeah, don't celebrate start... until we don't celebrate until we're done. <laughs> One clone is now giving the other head, and they're wearing and shirts screaming. That say, it's not gay. It's you not guys gay. touch your own yeah. dicks all the time. It's not gay. We're genetically identical. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. See, it's not gay. This is my cum all over my face. Does that <laughs> basically the same? Yeah. Does that work with a little gay? With twins? yes, with twins, oh, mm -hmm. twins. it's okay to have sex with your twin. No, it's genetically the same. I just heard the rule set. Yeah, that's so. You couldn't. No, because you're for, if you're a fraternal twin, we're not oh, about well, a no, yeah, just made it Make it identical. identical twins. It's a clone, dude. Okay, clone. Yeah, fuck your twin. <laughs>
Yeah. Do you is think there like are... clone kung fu? Like, is there clone jujitsu or something that there should be? There Imagine a... how much more intense the sport would get if we didn't care if these things died. <laughs> if there was Team UFC, that would be fucking amazing. That yeah. Like, yeah. if there was swords, that, that, that exists. Is the... It yeah. does. Dude, oh my 5v5 god. Five v five MMA fighting is so brutal. Because here's what happens: it starts five v five, and quickly it turns into five v four. Somebody wins somewhere. Oh and god. And now there's double teams all over the place. Eventually, there's like a two v one and a three v one. Did that math work? Yeah, I think it did. Yeah. You know, and and, and some guys there fighting three people at once, mm-hmm. trying to show some heart. But also hopeless. And, you know, you see point, how much it matters when you're outnumbered. It is not. <laughs> oh my god! What is this? <laughs> By thank, the way, thank God that mime is there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the mime! Look at the mime! The what the what fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what country was this? Well, I wasn't looking at the observing mime. I was looking at the the protecting mime what is over that? the body. They, that's not know. a protecting mime. Because we know what the ref looks like. He has the blue gloves. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, they are not bothered by this. I'll tell you down. what I thought was happening. Uh, I thought that the man on his knees was holding down an opponent and the two standing were helping him clobber them. But now as I've looked closer, I think maybe the man dressed in white in full clothing might actually be getting clobbered. I can't really tell. This yeah, is here's my theory. Photograph. Here's my theory. Can we do better. It's shirts versus skins, right? <laughs> and, <laughs> we're at a point where uh, shirt sure, on the ground was doing well, but he found himself in a 1v3 and he's not going to do well for much longer. Nobody does well in a 1v3. And it looks like mm. a very upcoming 1v4. <clears throat> I'll say like that, that, guy's yes, stride, yeah. that guy's stride is <laughs> very relaxed. And then look at look at Benedict Arnold, far left of the cage, uh-huh. just watching his man get I wish there was something no, I could I, do. But... I, I think it's but currently I'm just so like winded. a... It's like a three or four on one. So the guy strolling over is like, they don't need me to clobber that poor man. Yeah. Well, then that guy should be going to the guy on the left. I've watched a good bit of that. Um, So there's a bunch of combat sports that are that are kind of like the black sheep of the family, right? Look at this. Oh my god! God, It really is shirts versus skins. Yeah. The cavity, the cavity creeps. Why are their faces painted? <laughs> yeah. Why are the fucking faces painted? That's the the Jabberwockies, the dance troupe. Their career has not been going well. <laughs> now they're fighting in their goofy masks. Yeah. I mean, I can tell just from this picture that the milkmen are going to get their shit pushed <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, they so do not funny. look prepared. I like that they brought two refs, though. It makes sense. Yeah. Uh, why was there only one ref in the later pictures? Did one of the refs I, get I, out? I think, I think the guy on the left was there, too. We just... Actually, good point. I don't know if I noticed him. There's a lot of combat sports like that, though. Um, there's also um, the uh, the like medieval combat where oh, they yeah, go at exactly. it where, right wearing full armor and like, those are and wild. Shield. Yeah, those are wild because yeah. some medieval of those guys combat. dressed as knights are like actual like martial artists and they'll head kick people wearing a steel boot. Oh my god, dude! It's, it's like a it's, it's like a countrywide like it's like some tournament. I was watching a, a video online. It was like Belarus versus fucking Bulgaria, and both teams have like in armor shields and swords, and some of them have maces. And it's the same thing as that like multiplayer thing, where eventually it's like five on one. Except these guys are getting their heads destroyed <laughs> by, <laughs> by dull swords, and like you can see the pain guys are in behind the like full face mask because a guy will like have his shield up, and then he'll get double teamed, and they'll do like that movie move where the guy will punch with his shield into the head of the guy's helmet. And in a movie, you're like, oh, he hit his helmet, he's okay. But then you see the guy like, oh, oh, and he gets hit. <laughs> again in the head and he's like a hundred percent unconscious maybe dead there's like yeah. blood seeping out of his helmet. like these people literally die they will hit you called it the movie move because i had the opposite impression right? it, by watching movies which is where i learned about medieval fighting in the <laughs> first place learned mm-hmm. um i thought it was all about the sword the shield was purely a defensive weapon etc that shield might be a better if i could have a shield or a sword i think i'd pick the shield it's both yeah. defensive and offensive. Well, they some of them like that shield, uh, it's brutal. Do you remember that clip in 300 where Leonidas like has the shield or whatever and he like boxes someone with it? Yeah. Like real hard. He does like a yeah. backhand. That's what they do. Yeah. Like, yeah. well, he'll, they weren't doing backhands. They were like literally like three guys in armor just pin a guy to a, a chain link fence effectively and then just hit him in the head until he's no longer conscious. Well, you can see the strikes. They'll hit this. The, the swords are very dull, but you, you can watch the guy get hit in the head and it dents his helmet. And and the guy's kind of wobbled. The guy's wobbled, but a guy comes in and whacks him the same spot again and dents it even further. And then you're like, I don't know how much more rooms left in the helmet. <laughs> I wonder oh what the inside God. of the helmet is like. Right? Is it 
Wop is the inside leather. of the helmet done well, really? like a modern day professional NFL no. helmet, or do you think that it's realistic? It's an and a super they got enough Etsy. I, I yeah. it's made of tin. Yeah. I picture leather and cloth, right? And that's probably good stuff. I think you're for right for that. For that, that's probably good enough. But I, I want to wrap a like I have. I have some pretty quality motorcycle helmets. Yeah, just put some metal on them and dress them up like medieval helmets. That's My what friend, you want. My friend was talking about his buddy. His buddy's six foot seven, and uh, he works this restaurant, gets off late, and he, he's always drunk going home. So he's scared he's going to fall over drunk, kill himself. Six seven's a long way to fall. So he, yeah. he started wearing a helmet on the way home. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> and, I, and somebody was like, isn't he scared somebody's gonna bo- gonna bother him on the way home? I'm like, he's an armored troll. <laughs> like when you're fighting with a helmet. If you're getting in a fight with a giant, your first thought is like, maybe I could hit him in the head and knock him out. This guy's got a helmet on, like strolling home. <laughs> is that this. him? No, this is uh, a badass fucking it's a helmet, helmet on Etsy. I wish that guy's got Mark McGuire for him. Do any of those pictures Dude, look on at the that inside? Guy. That guy's on the left show the fuck. inside. Dude. Wow. That's like a sex play helmet, also. That's oh, so yeah. tight. I love I'm that here helmet. for it. Yeah, sex pants. Do you want that helmet, Taylor? That's so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I just wear, I buy, wear that to the store. I was gonna buy Woody a knife, and I was thinking like I gotta get Taylor something now. And I was looking at this battle axe for you. <laughs> yeah. And then I got. And then as I long got, as it is as valuable or more valuable than this, it's. Fine. That's exactly what I was looking <laughs> for. <laughs> exactly. So that so that I was like, oh god damn it, Taylor's. Taylor's fucking axe is gonna cost like three hundred dollars. Now I gotta find Woody a better knife. And then <laughs> you don't I, have to give me I know, I know. Well, I, for some reason, I told myself I did, and then then I, I it was like an hour worth of shopping later, and I just gave up and closed the app. Oh. <laughs> well, the thought was very kind. Yeah, thanks, yeah, Kyle. That's, Thank you that's for the more than I've ever gift. cared about anyone. An hour <laughs> <of> shopping. <laughs> Kyle thinking about getting us a present might be one of the nicest things the three of us have done for each other. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle considering <laughs> getting a contemplating a gift. No, they had this the most dwarven, thought we put in. It's, it's like if you ever seen an axe. <laughs>